When we think about crew chief changes, it's usually about a personality conflict or a performance from a team that's running at the back and should be running at the front. Not anymore. It's about the chase and the chase for money. I'm Michelle Rahal with Motorsports Unplugged and MotorsportsUnplugged.com's NASCAR edition. If you're a gearhead and if you're on this site, we know you are, check us out at www.thedrivechannel.com. Muscle cars, exotics, and just plain cool rides. When the crew chief swap gate started, it was innocuous at first. Almondinger should be running better. He's got talent. Let's grab Biffle's Greg Irwin. It all made sense. It wasn't working for Greg Biffle and the Petty Gang or a satellite team. But then it snowballed, and it might not be over. Montoya's team replaced Brian Patty with an engineer, Jim Pullman. It's been the general consensus that Patty builds magnificent cars, but his strategies didn't pan out. His exit might have happened last year, but for the win at Watkins Glen for the Colombian. Now it's Jeff Burton's crew chief, Todd Barrier, taking the rocket ride out, being replaced with an engineer named Luke Lambert. The engineer thing's getting popular these days, especially when so much money and future money's on the line. Translated, you need to make the chase, and you're in the good column. If you don't, the sponsors aren't happy. On the surface, you want to feel bad for the crew chiefs who are on the outside right now. But the cold, hard truth is that this is a performance-based business. If you don't have the results, something has to change, and none of the aforementioned drivers are second rate. That means the crew chief is the first to go. We'll see what the break this week did for setting up the new Chiefs in their respective roles and what results we might see at the Brickyard. For Motorsports Unplugged and MotorsportsUnplugged.com, I'm Michelle Rahal. I'll see you next time.